I know y'all probably wondering how I got here. So let me take it back for y'all. What's up y'all? This your girl Jazz Sinead. Welcome to my channel. So I am in the car right now as you, as you can see. And yes, I have a do-rag on. My hair is laying down, it's still wet, but anyway today i will be taking a covid test and my test is like my appointment is in five minutes and i'm so freaking nervous and i'm not scared that i have covid but you know i have like really bad allergies like my sinuses and everything like look i have not driving with a box of tissue right now i have a box of tissue in my bedroom i have a box of tissue in my living room like it's tissue everywhere but anyway so i'm nervous because I didn't watch videos of how they stick it up your nose. I saw articles of um, just like them damaging people's brains and stuff, sticking it too far. Oh my God. And I do not like my nose like being played with at all. It's bad enough I sneeze every three minutes. Like Now I gotta deal with them sticking this stuff all the way up my nose, but just pray for me, y'all. But um, yes, I will be back. Stay tuned. All right, y'all. So I just went inside the urgent care for testing, and they told me to park on the side of the building, and someone will be calling me when um a room is available. My appointment was at ten o'clock. But anyway. The problem is I set up for all my um, all unknown numbers to not say that my phone to go to voicemail due to, uh, you know, like the warranty people and um, what else? Um, the voting people, you know, so everybody who's not saved, all the numbers is not saved and my phone goes straight to voicemail. So now I have to call the phone company and turn it off just so they can get in contact with me. Like, it's just, it's crazy. But... Yeah, guys, I'm about to park now on the side of the building. Yeah, I'm really, really nervous. So, yeah, why do oh my god, come on. So, anyway, yeah, I'm about to call T Mobile, so I will be back with an update. Still waiting to get my COVID test, it is 18 minutes after my appointment time. Like, this is crazy. What is the point? of making an appointment if I'm not going to get seen at that time. Like, I don't know. This could have just been a come after a certain time and just pull up and get your COVID test. Not, oh, your appointment time is this time. Make sure you be here on time. Like, it's <sighs> just sitting here. I'm glad I don't have nothing else planned today besides taking to my car and stuff like that. I am hungry. Like, all I had for breakfast was little bites. Wow, some banana little bites. That's all I have for breakfast. And some water. Oh, he God. needs some milk. But I'm really waiting for them to call me. And it's just like if the COVID test takes take five minutes, like why is it taking so long? If my appointment is at ten o'clock. Yeah. But I will be back. Let me finish singing my songs. He finally just called me after like 45 minutes. So I'm about to head um, to meet them in the back. I forgot my damn ass. God damn it. I'm about to head to the back um, of the building, like they said, to um, get my test. I'm so nervous that my stomach is bubbling. Yeah. Okay, so they put me in um, like a little room. Um, the room has a humidifier. It's kind of chilly in here, which causes my nostrils, like my um, nose to be irritated, like tingle, like I'm about to sneeze and stuff. Um, yeah. But I would say really heavy up. It's kind of busy in here. But this is the room. Like I'm so freaking nervous. And then like the more the more I wait, like the worse it gets. Like my stomach is really, really bubbling. Like 
and my heart is racing. Oh my God. <laughs> and I keep hearing noises by the door thinking that it's them to come in here to take the test. <sighs> All right, y'all, a beat. So the lady, I guess one of the nurses, she came in, took my vitals, asked um, what I, did I need a rapid testing or the one that goes to the lab? Um, I told her I need the one that goes to the lab. Uh, she asked me if I see the doctor already. I told her yes, virtual. So I guess when you see the virtual, um, this process should be faster, which is literally an hour after my appointment time. But um, yeah, I'm still waiting. Well, I'm waiting down for them to swab my nostrils. Oh my God. And also they do ask for insurance information when you first do your appointment. And, but I believe the COVID testing is free. They just want your information. I have no idea why, but yeah, so just wanted to give y'all that information. Are we ready? So the testing is complete. Um, man, and I, I my nose it's so weird because I think I don't know. It's like my nostrils is it's crazy right now. The feeling that it gave me was like when you're about to sneeze, like that tingling feeling. It wasn't as bad as I thought, but it was uncomfortable. And my left nostril is the one that's always irritated. It's always like stopped up or whatever. But today it's running. My nose is red. I don't know if I have like a sinus cold or and I don't know what's going on. I know it's not COVID, but... Well, I hope it's not COVID. Oh my God. But yeah, my nose is red. Like, I feel like Rudolph right now. It's so sore. Everything. But anyway, yeah. I'm just, I'm so glad it's over. I pray my results come back negative. So we will see in three to five days. Yeah. But yes, y'all. Thank y'all for, um... <sighs> for watching with me I know I'm a punk I'm a big punk but thank y'all for watching with me y'all and I will keep you up updated on my results when I get them um yes make sure you like comment and subscribe of course and I will see you guys in the next video